Copying other people is the fastest way to lose yourself. I'll say that again. Copying other people is the fastest way to lose yourself. And that's something I've had to figure out the hard way. Because honestly, there's really a fallacy of similarity that a lot of people continue to fall prey upon. And when it comes to life and business, um, we're taught you know, to learn from people who look like us, who think like us, who come from similar backgrounds, cultures, and paths. And like that has a lot of value. But what happens when you try to emulate other people because they're quote unquote similar to you, what you find out is that over the long term, you try so hard to be so much like that other person that you fail to lose sight of who you really are, what makes you unique, and what makes you special. And so what do I mean by that? Well, you know by now that I am a holistic business coach. I help people to do the deep inner and outer work to transform their expertise into a highly profitable business. And within this coaching world, so many people join certain coaching communities because they find themselves working with other life coaches, business coaches, people who are women, you know, a lot of single mothers, um, you know, form tight bonds in certain coaching communities. And what uh, is typical is like people gravitate to the people that are, are reflective of them. But one of the main reasons why so many people don't get results in their coaching business or consulting business is they're trying too hard to copy the person that they're learning from. And this slows them down because they're literally copying other people's language, other people's style, other people's presentation. And then they're wondering why stuff isn't working for them. Well, it's because somebody else has put their own energy, their own spin, their own taste into their business and you're trying to literally steal their recipe. And it just, it doesn't work like that. And this is why doing that deep inner work and getting to really figure out, okay, who am I? Because once you know who you are, then you figure out what, why you do what you do and then you figure out how you can help people um, you know, through a, a certain vehicle or medium such as coaching, consulting, or something else. But it's really, really important to also sprinkle in the fact that you need to learn um, from people who are a lot different than you. And so for me, I identify as, you know, a heterosexual black male. And for me, my business and my life has blown up by me learning from people who are not cisgender, people who are not black, people who are not men. You know, I've lived in, you know, five different countries. You know, I lived in 10 different states. You know, I specifically hired uh, female uh, coaches to help me out with my business because they, they brought in a whole different perspective that I, that I just, I, I couldn't get from other, other men. And so... You may be thinking that like kind of like this commentary or the society is all over the place, but it, it really comes to one core nexus is that the more you try to copy somebody else, the, the less that you'll find, you know, your true sauce and what you're really made of. And like you have to spend a lot of time not only getting to know yourself, but you have to surround yourself with different perspectives so that you can truly figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and you know how you can become the best version of yourself. Because literally you could have a twin copy uh, of you, a, a twin sibling that looks just like you, but you're experiencing life in a different way. Like nobody is like you. Nobody can be like you and you can't be like anybody else. And so it's just, it's very, very important that you stop trying to copy other people, you know, ad nauseum. Like, to a T, whether it's in life, it's in business, whatever, you have to figure out, okay, who am I and like what, what makes me special, what makes me unique and how can I stand out? Because if you're trying to copy somebody else, they already have that position, they already have that brand and you can't unseat somebody from where they are based upon who they are. So just understand that like there's a there's a fallacy of similarity um, just because somebody looks like you, thinks like you, is doing something that you want to do doesn't mean that you have to copy them exactly. You have, you have to figure out, like I said, your secret sauce, what makes you special 
and then put that out in the world because ultimately if you're in business people are going to be be buying your version of the world (laughs) your version of coaching your version of consulting your version of a chicken sandwich whatever it can be but you have to figure out what makes you special and what makes you different so that you can establish a position in the market then a brand so you can market that and then you can sell that and uh, live life happily ever after so let me know what you think about this video like i said like this concept the fallacy of similarity is something that's really never talked about and i don't really think most people understand that like copying other people um can slow you down so i'm uh, really curious to hear your thoughts and let me know what you think about this video and if you like my content be sure to subscribe and uh, check out my next content until next time